everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you how to cut out a name on the Glowforge using the Adobe Illustrator program to set it up. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to do is get into your uh, Adobe Illustrator. And we're going to go to uh, text. Well, I'm going to do Declan. I have a grandson named Declan. So we're going to make Declan's name today. So, D-E-D-E-L-Y-N. I'm going to go up here to the uh, selection tool. Make this bigger so we can read it. All right. You can change the font right here. Under properties, you can make the stroke bigger. Uh, I'm going to keep this font here. So what I'm going to go with is script MT bold. But you can see here, this D is not attached to this, e, you know, to the rest of his name. So what we need to do, we need to attach this D to the rest of the name. So the best way for me to do that, I'm going to click on the whole name here. We're going to go up to type. We're going to come down to create outlines. Okay, so now this is all outlined. And what we're going to do next is go to object. Hit ungroup. So now each one of these is ungrouped like that. We can move them around however we want. Move, go back over. All right, I just want to move this D over. We can make this D bigger. So if you wanted to make a, a bigger exaggerated D for your first letter of the name, we can do that. Max this a little bit. Just as long as it's touching, we're all right. So what I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to bring that over. So I'm just going to go back to a regular size D. Believe me, I'm no expert at this, but this is simple to do. There we are, regular size D. So we're going to move that over. All I have to do is hit the arrow key. Move it over to where I want it. Just make sure it's overlapping the E. That looks good there. Gonna be happy with that, and I'm gonna make sure we select this again. And I'm gonna go over here, back over here to uh, properties. I want to make these lines in here just a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna bump the stroke up an extra couple of points there, just to make it a little bit thicker. All right. Now, in order to make this all one word. Let's select it again. We need to go up here to Pathfinder. We need to hit the Unite button. Now it's all one word. Looks like it's all one piece. We're going to go up here to File. We're going to hit Export as. And I'm going to go with Declan. D P C K L Y N. Export. Make sure you have SVG on there. So Declan, SVG, save it as SVG. Hit yes. Okay. And that's it right there. Now we need to bring up the Glow Forge app. So I have that up here. I'm going to hit create. I'm going to hit upload from file. You're going to find your file. My file is right here. Declan. We'll click on that. It's processing. And now we have Declan right here. It shows up on the Glowforge. And I already have a piece of MDF in there that I'm going to use to cut this out. So right here we can change. We can use the uh, ruler to change the size here we want to do with the scale. I'm going to unlock the scale here. I'm going to make this 15 inches long. Uh, and then I'm going to make it let's try six inches and I see what that looks like. I think I like that. And I'm just going to center it pretty much right in the middle. Uh, my settings settings for this I have MDF quarter inch in here which I do at 105 full power and 
quarter inch MDF. Now we're going to hit set focus. Let it focus. As you can see, it's focusing right here. All right. Yeah, so focus, make sure what, exactly where we want it on the board. That's where I'm going to go with it. I'm going to hit the uh, print button. Okay, so it's going to take 20 minutes and 42 seconds to print out. So we're going to go over here to the computer next. All right, I'm going to hit the uh, flashing button on the Glowforge. Make sure my fan's on. I have an external fan. Make sure that's all the way up. Okay, it's all done here. Let's see how it cut out. Looks like it came out perfectly. Alright, here's how it turned out. You can finish these any way you want. I love uh, using the MDF because it's uh, perfectly flat. Uh, it's a good product to use. What I normally use is a sanding sealer on there. Put the sanding sealer on there, sand it down with 800 grit sandpaper, and then come back and paint it or, uh, or whatever you want to do with it. It works out pretty good and it's a good surface to paint. Anyway, if you like what you've seen today on the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, we'll be back with some more videos. Thank you. Have a good day.